Hey everybody, it's Matt from This and That with Matt. Today it's part two of Two for Tuesday's video. But first, we are gonna crack open a Resurgence Brewing Company IPA, everybody. Yeah, it's late enough to have a beer. So, let's crack one of these open. Mm, that's good. Nice, refreshing, crisp, hoppy hits in the back of the throat. Mm. That's a nice. That's a nice uh, addition to any meal. Resurgence Brewing Company IPA. So, what we did earlier, we did part one of this menu three. So, let's see. Let's reach into the bag of goodies and see what we have left. So, for a main, we've got the rice with vegetables, manufactured in uh, 125th day of 2020, I believe. So, got a fig bar. I like big bars. This was manufactured the 140th day of 2020. Big bar for you. Let's see what else we got in here. Toss that down. Oh, that's right. The um, the dessert, but not quite dessert. The unfrosted toaster pastry and the vegetable crackers. So, like I did before, this thing is a rock. I mean, this thing. Hell, you could break this out and smack somebody over the head with it, hurt them pretty bad. Um, I did save the salt, pepper, and the crushed red pepper for this, so I'm going to use this. So, try to break this down. Oh, this one, yeah. Oh, crap, and it's like reversed, so I'm an idiot. So, I was moving it to this way, but the tear notches are here because it's, you know, it's Tuesday and I'm tired of them are so, I mean, I don't even know how I'm going to be able to open this without having this crap all spew all over. So, hopefully everybody's having a great day. I know I am. Uh, like I said, I haven't eaten anything other than that this afternoon, you know, earlier today. Um, so, we'll just do part two of this. You know what I'm going to do? How with it? I'm going to take the mora out. And I'm going to cut this other side because I'm not going to wait. So, let me see if I'm going to... Good starting cut there. Again, put the blade away. Go into the hospital from eating food, never from a knife cut. So I'm gonna open this up. Yeah. So wow. Um smells very starchy. Um to take a look at that. I don't know how well that's translating to the camera or my iPhone so funny my iPhone is so old gets in battles with flip phones and loses all the time so that is the rice with vegetables as I spill it all on the ground uh, it only comes with one spoon so I'm gonna grab this spoon so real quick like I'm gonna take a bite of this yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's dry as hell yeah. Really interesting. Um, flavor's not bad, but it's really dry. And not having any um, liquid. Or anything in that. Um, doesn't have a great mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. Try washing all this. Hmm. You definitely get your chew workout. So I'm gonna open up the salt pepper, put a little bit of that on, and the crushed pepper. See if that makes a difference. And then we'll go on through there. So there's some pepper. salt and again like I was saying earlier you know um, these are like 50 bucks a case you get 10 meals in a case you get 10 MREs in a case for 50 bucks that's five dollars a meal breaking into two meals a day it's like two dollars and fifty cents a, um, a meal which isn't too bad so like I said case of these per person and some stocked goods you know from your pantry some pastas canned veg um, 
some stuff like that. You know, um, rice, beans, stuff. I mean, you could, you could be eating, you'd have, you know, for just over 200 bucks, you'd have a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, two week pantry. So, this is the crushed red pepper. I'm gonna put a little bit in here. I like my hot ball. That was a lot. I'm kind of I, I'm gonna have to vacuum because I'm dropping shit all over the floor. Yeah, this is like really hard to even break up just like this. I'm gonna kind of, kind of take a bite right here. So this has the pepper. This has the salt the pepper, the crushed red pepper. Yeah, that's the way to go. Texture is weird. If you had a way to heat that up, I would suggest heating that up. Whether you're putting it in boiling water. I know these are thermal stabilized. And they're uh, ready to eat out uh, the package. This one, the texture would be really hard to eat. It'd be very difficult enough to keep eating that dry. So that's why I'm going to have a sip of beer and then move on to my next component. I have a sponge candy stout upstairs, but I noticed I was drinking a lot of stouts. So I wanted to break it up and bring in an IPA. So let's try the vegetable cracker. Now I had talked earlier in my first video about these. Now I like these, however, I think putting a vegetable cracker in with peanut butter and jelly, it's kind of obtuse, doesn't make any sense. Um, it just, especially, if I'm gonna sneeze, the pepper's gonna get me. There you go. Nope, good. I just don't understand the vegetable cracker with peanut butter and jelly, just, I, I just don't get it. But let's open this up, see if we can get a little bit of a hiss or see if we hear anything on this. Oh yeah, nice little vacuum. Okay, that was a little bit of a burp there, sorry guys. They opened up really nice. Take out the one. Oh, it's broken. Gosh darn it. Gee willikers, it's broken. Kind of broken cracker. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, that day. That one almost made. That almost survived. And here's the last little bit of that one. So we're gonna go in. Let's see here if we can take a look. Well, not too many vegetable. I mean, you can kind of see some veggie flakes. Not a whole bunch. Not a whole bunch of veggie flakes in that. Let's take a bite of this. Not bad. Um, buttery flavor. Really dry. It's not a crunch per se. More of a crack. Um, It sounds weird, but it reminds me of the consistency of like soft hard tack. That's kind of interesting. Um, next up, let's break open this fig bar. I love me some fig bars. Fig Newtons are the greatest. And the older they are, the better they are. Oh yeah, look at this one. Nice. Look at how nice and dark that is. It's like a fine wine, Nate, but get better with age. Let's take this out. Make sure there's no, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it smells so sweet. So good. Oh, can't go wrong. So good. Um, I think these are pretty calorically dense, too. Um, let's see here. Um, if I didn't rip through the whole... Yeah, it's 210 calories for that. In all honesty, that fig bar rivals with the size and the caloric intake rivals like a first strike bar as far as caloric intake goes. I love fig bars. Um, man. Mm. It's sweet. The crumbly of the, um, the outside cookie part is really good. The dates are really good. I remember eating Gucciadati cookies, I think that's how you pronounce them in Italian. They're like date cookies. I like dates. Could be probably because I'm getting older. The older I get, you know, I should probably eat dates and prunes and all that crap, but 
That's for another day. I'm gonna take one more bite of this. Mm. No, I'll take that. Take another sip of my beer here. Like my shirt, Iron Maiden Killers. Last album, I believe, with Paul Diano as the lead singer before Bruce Dickinson took over for the number of the Beast album. Iron Maiden, great band. Bruce Dickinson, great, great singer. Great human being. Oh, I dropped it. Humanitarian, pilot, school troublemaker. He did a uh, solo speaking tour, and it was hilarious. We, got to, we were so lucky we got to see it. I mean, it was awesome. So I'm going to open up my... I'm going to open up my unfrosted toaster pastry. This is like given, this would be like, you know, to me, an un, an unfrosted toaster pastry, to me, reminds me of like giving a kid a piece of like cornbread and calling it dessert. Cornbread's good, but it's not dessert. It'd be like eating a pancake without syrup. Nah, not so great. However, it looks good. It smells really good. I mean, I got that. It's got a good a good layer. I mean, it's a pretty darn good layer. I love the brown sugar toaster pastries. Um, I'm not a brand name guy, so Pop Tart, Aldi brand, I, I don't bother me none. I just like them to have some frosting on that. But let's try this out. Uh, let me get a bite. This guy. Uh, set that one down. A good bite with some uh, frosting in here. Mm. Tasty definitely dry. You definitely need... Well, hang on. I think you need the frosting, but it's honestly not that bad. That strawberry jam and that peanut butter on the shortbread cookies earlier, so delicious. That is such a morale boost. These are all morale boosts. You know, these are great to have you know, in your stores, in your stockpiles. Um, little things like this mean a lot. You can't just put rice, beans, pasta, you know, sardines, you know, all the other stuff that you put, you know, those canned goods that you put in your shelf that you hope never to eat. You can't stockpile stuff like that. You gotta stockpile stuff you wanna eat. Um, but, rice was good. I'm not going to go back in. I mean, that is hard as a rock. So I would hopefully, I don't know, I lied. I'm going to go back in. Hopefully you'd be able to warm that up or something. Even if you could, sound silly, man, put it in your pocket for a half hour or something like that. Warm it up. I'm going to step up by a frame. So it's pretty cool. So this is the second video today. I promised you to because I messed up last, you know, didn't do anything yesterday. Didn't do anything last Saturday, didn't do anything last Wednesday. Like I said, man, work and life has gotten away. So I'm trying to get back on track, so I figured I'd give you two for Tuesday. Two, two, two for Tuesday. But, yeah, it's a human, uh, hum it's a human, humanitarian daily ration. Menu number three from, it's a food gift from you people of the United States of America. Our tax dollars hard at work, ladies and gentlemen. But, in all honesty, um, as far as a, pantry food as far as having some safe food at home, having some 72-hour kits, stuff on the shelf in case you get stuck in tornado, hurricane, blizzard, whatever, you're stuck at home due to national disaster, or you have to go and grab a case, throw it in the back of the car. I mean, you know, for 50 bucks, and I'm not trying to sell them, you know, because everybody, all of, all of us in the community have these. I'm not trying to sell them. All I'm saying is, personally, I, I like to eat a lot of stuff. Secondly, I think for the price, five dollars per day, two fifty a meal. It's like for thirty-five cents you can, for thirty-five cents a day you can help this poor bass player, you know, have a couch to sleep on, and and some spaghetti to eat and new strings for his bass. And it's being mean, you know, a riff off the Sarah McLaughlin uh, dog video. We won't go there. But honestly, for five bucks a day, two fifty a meal, twenty-two hundred odd calories. You really can't go wrong. Will menu fatigue be an issue? Yeah, if you had to eat them for months, but you're hopefully not going to eat them for months. But 50 bucks gets one person 10 days worth of food. Supplement that with a can and uh, dry goods pantry. Now you're talking two weeks. 
make sure you have a gallon of water per person per day that's just for consumption make sure you have other water for cleaning and hygiene and all that other stuff but my initial you know after having the after having the meal this morning and having the rice now I kind of like this I'm kind of digging this um this is something I'd probably throw in my truck I have an MCW in there now because it's winter time so I got to be appropriate so maybe in the summertime I'll throw this you know in my truck just to have something in case I break down or need something to add to the kit I currently have but as far as a five dollar meal for the day this HDR menu number three with uh, I had to what uh, vegetable what was it um, vegetable and barley you know soup or vegetable and barley stew which is more of a you know, more of a mush than you know and then the rice and the crackers the you know the cookies the, the, the peanut butter the jelly the fig bar oh can't forget the beer uh, ah, not too bad um, suggestions for this or my my ultimate my wish list for this I wish this uh, menu had, I wish these bags had more seasoning, maybe two packs of salt, two packs of pepper, two packs of, uh, two packs of the, uh, the crushed red pepper. I think it should try to include some sort of drink or some sort of, uh, some sort of electrolyte or some sort of uh, beverage base or something like that. Um, other than that, for what it is, it's not too bad. I've kind of enjoyed this. This has been a fun video. This has been a fun day. I'm glad to get back in the swing of things. I'm actually going out of town for work, but I will be bringing something with me tomorrow so I can do a small Wednesday video, which will be wacky or weird or wild. Um, I actually have a box of Turkish treats, not Turkish Delight, because that looks horrible. Uh, but it's a box of treats from Turkey, so I'll probably open it up, maybe take a lunch break or something like that, record a quick video, share it with all, with all you guys. But just wanted to say, well, as I burp, excuse me, thanks for stopping by today. Again, this is a part two of my two, 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 two for Tuesday video. HDR menu three, I think it's around the 2020. Two mains, a bunch of sides, not too bad for a day's uh, day's worth of food. Uh, I am Matt from This and That with Matt. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your parents, tell whoever you want. Let's grow this algorithm, let's grow this channel. Community is great, you all are great for watching. I really appreciate all the comments. I try to interact with everyone. I will see you tomorrow. Cheers, everybody. Ah, so good. So good. Now it's off to go see Quantum Mania, the Ant-Man latest Marvel saga. I will see you all tomorrow, guys.